All right, and we're back to Now on TTT. Thanks for viewing. And I'm here with Dr. Kizan James. Good morning, Kizan. Hi, good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And, you know, it's just so amazing saying doctor to such a young person, <laughs> you know, like all the things that you have accomplished and everything thank like you, that. Thank you, thank you. It wasn't an easy journey at all. I would imagine not. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our Leaders of Now um, session. And, you know, many times people say, youth are the leaders of tomorrow and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but that's, that, that's not exactly correct. Um, youth are the leaders of now because we are the ones that have to carry the torch exactly. and, you know, move the world forward into a brighter future. Exactly. I yeah, so we are the leaders of now to take us into the future. Mm -hmm. So let's, enough about that, let's talk about you a little bit. So what type of doctor are you to begin with? Well, I work in sexual and reproductive health and rights. Okay. I also work in global health. So before I came back to Trinidad um, this last month, I worked in Norway and South Africa and India, oh, wow. um, trying to uh, improve sexual and reproductive health in these areas. Okay. Um, I also started a few organizations while I was in med school right. and right after. Um, what organizations, if you want to tell us quickly? Okay, so I started Caribbean Youth in Phil for Philanthropy, right. which was or which is a network of youth leaders from. 11 islands, 11 so we islands. have about 100 youth leaders altogether. It's currently run by um, a colleague of mine who is from okay. Haiti, yes. and every year we take different things and, and try to um, improve the network and create opportunities for other youth leaders oh, around the region. Excellent, yes. that's excellent. And again, like, I see that you're passionate about youth. I am, and I am. And what was the other um, organization you formed? So I founded Access Sex Sexual Health, which is a global network again um, that was founded in Southampton when I studied there. Right. Um, it was funded by Southampton University, Bayer Pharmaceuticals and Women Deliver in order to use technology to promote sexual health. Um, so we created an application and a website right. and we have a social media following and we just tried to um, improve access and education related to issues uh, surrounding sexually transmitted diseases um, family planning um, options and everything that's you know c encompasses sexual health. So basically, everywhere you go, you start something. You know, you start well. an event <laughs> or something like that. You know, it's a really dynamic person. Thank I you. I would say. <laughs> so, did you have any role models growing up? Like, what made you so ambitious and so, you know, um, forward thinking? Well, I, as I was saying before, my journey into becoming a doctor wasn't very easy. Um, I come from a very poor background. My mother is or was a security officer, a single parent family. And I, while I was in primary school, our teacher used to read stories of Ben Carson. And actually most of my class now are doctors as well. Really? Yeah, she, every day we'd have to read a certain section of his book. Yes. Um, and I just felt like if somebody like him coming from a very humble background as well, could achieve what he achieved, then I could do the same. Yes. So from that age, I you know, got that dream to become a doctor. I didn't know I'd end up in global health, <laughs> which is pretty cool, which is you know, way yes, beyond what I ever dreamed of um, getting into at right. that point yes. in time. Um, but it was, it was a really tough journey. I didn't have money for med school. I, you know, I worked in Mario's. I cleaned toilets. I painted houses. I did anything so to you, raise funds. You until worked and put yourself through. Yes, because Med when school. I went to, when I started university, there was not gate. So, right. yeah, so I had to try to raise funds. So I worked um, different odd jobs and fast food restaurants for two years. And then I started university and worked part time until I eventually wow. completed. Um, yeah, that but, is dedication. Yeah, that now dedication. I have four degrees. So anybody wow. who is, <laughs> <laughs> who comes from, you know, a very humble background, just keep pushing. Uh, eventually you'll get there. So what's your main focus right now? So my main focus right now, again, is reproductive rights, especially in the Caribbean. Yes. Um, I'm j you now moving back home. I'll be working in Tobago from next month. Okay. Um, so Love Tobago. Yeah, Tobago is awesome. <laughs> um, and we're looking at how we could, again, use technology to promote sexual health. We partnered with Two Cents Movement. They did some um, spoken word poetry and videos for us before. We worked with Womantra and different organizations here already. Yes. But we just want to formalize that. So I have some funding from um, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. What's Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation? So um, Bill Gates, who uh, started Microsoft, yes. he started a foundation, again, to promote family planning. And so I actually got an award from him last really? year. Yeah, well, so congratulations on your award. Um, so many accomplishments. <laughs> <please>. <laughs> Thanks. 
Um, and he and uh, his foundation gave us some money to do some projects. So I'm excited to see where that turns out after I have some meetings. And, well, yeah. I'm excited to see where that turns out too. Thank I hope you. you will touch base with us again so we'll we can do. know definitely the progress we'll of it. You know, um, definitely. Um, do you have any events or projects um, underway or happening right now? Well, what we're going to do is can, because of the um, great reach that we had, we did um, just a one-week social media campaign and we were able to target over 30,000 people. Wow. Yeah, and I got a lot of positive um, responses from that. So again, we want to awesome. just see how that goes and try doing this on a larger scale. All right, so before we go, do you mm -hmm. have any last words for um, the youth and, and you know, um, people who may want to take the path that you have taken? I would say to keep focused. You might uh, encounter obstacles. You might fail along the way. I've failed many times along the way. But once you keep focused on the, on the end goal, you'll get there. All right. Well, thank you very thank much, you. Dr. Kizan James. And thank you, viewers, for being with us. We will be back very shortly. We are going for a little bit of a break. And um, stay with us. We have a lot more to come. <laughs>